Hey, Mum! What? The door spin men! So, good night to you from International Football at Wembley. Colin! Good night. Colin. Hey, good luck, Colin, lad! England! We are the champions! And the whistle's gone, oh, when the lads go marching in, you know when the lads... Winston. Why are Colin, though, shaking hands with you, Sabio? Bloody class, that. It always tells. <laughs> Naomi! Look, it's over. Half the team's back in the dressing room. Colin's not. Oh, sorry. Right, it's running off now, isn't it? Like a bloody dream, that's all. <laughs> OK. <laughs> You don't you sweat a lot when you're excited. You probably thought Bobby Moore was playing a bit squared at first, but he was only trying to level up with his full match. That's something Ramsey's picked up from watching City. Winston, your mum and dad have gone to bed. We've still got half an hour before my last bus goes. The old through ball from Peters wouldn't have broken your heart neither, would it? He was starving, Colin Bell. You're no jealousy. Sorry about this skirt. It always rides up when I sit down. Thinking about the beast. Yeah, a you? couple of weeks in City's reserves to do Peters no harm. Winston, thank you. Of course, the burning question now is will Colin be fit for City's match tomorrow night? Winston, the burning question is, where do I stand? It's important match, that City v Newcastle at home. Up the line! <laughs> Winston, we've been going steady now for nearly three months. I want to know where I stand. Yeah. Well? What? Pardon? Oh, what? Can you say something? Good night, Winston. See you, kid. <laughs> and is that all you've got to say? Well, uh, no, no, of course not. Uh, well, uh, thanks for seeing me home. In time for the match, right? Well, the highlights. Good night. Naomi! <laughs> Don't worry, love. Joe Mercer will get Colin. <laughs> Good morning. Tonight's the night. Pardon? City v Newcastle, two points, no danger. Was that piece of Swahili in any way opposite to the emptying of refuse receptacles and its ramification? Up the blues! <laughs> Colin Bell's fit, according to the Daily Mirror. Oh, good. You've got a lovely smile. You remind me of a referee I saw last season, West Bromby City, away. He had a lovely smile. I caught him right in the chops with a pork pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a poem about that from Francis Lee finding Colin Bell in the centre circle. Bell weaves through the defence, beating one man, two men into the penalty area, picks his spot and follows a daisy coin left foot drive past the others. <laughs> A goal! A goal! A marvellous goal by Colin Bell, making the score here tonight. City 15, Newcastle nil! We are the champions! What do you get for murder? Is it hanging or life imprisonment? In his case, the Nobel Peace Prize and the undying bloody gratitude of the human bloody race. I'm sorry to come burdening you with my troubles. You've probably got enough of your own. Everybody's got troubles, love. Just happens that we've got more than the national average, love. We've got bloody Winston. It's just that he never thinks of nothing else. We know. City, city, city. We know. What does he talk about in the summer? Nothing. What does he do? Rubs his rattle with linseed oil. <laughs> affecting my central nervous system. When I took him to meet me mum and dad, I forgot his name. I introduced him as Colin Bell. <laughs> One night he had a couple of rum and peps and got all romantic. He said I was beautiful. Too beautiful for him and would I like him to offer me to Mike Summerby? Man has no greater love. He's another city player. We know. We bloody know. It's like going steady with a football programme. What's he like at work? Oh. Winston, why aren't you at the game? It's only eight o'clock. Has it been abandoned? Were Newcastle too scared to come out then? Have they kicked each other to death? Oh, couldn't you get in, love? Oh, I got in. Then I got chucked out again. <laughs> By the police. 
for, for hooliganism. For accidentally chucking a Cornish pasty at their goalie. I'm going to be banned. Banned from what? Watching City. Me, banned. N never to darken the turnstiles again. It's like telling the Pope he's been excommunicated. You'll never watch City again. Oh, Winston. How oh, rotten. Terrible. Shame, that. I, I, I thought he said he'd... Oh, oh yes. It's a lousy liberty, that. Hey, uh, say again, Joker. Pints all round. Uh, cheer up. Don't let it get you down, Winston. <laughs> you have to be brave. Oh, you don't care, do you, love? Not deep down. Do I ache? Happy days are here again. Happy days are here again. <laughs> hey! Your bin! It's empty! It's been emptied once! You're emptying an empty bloody bin! <laughs> Happy days are here again. Happy days are here again. They're not, you know. Not what? Bloody here again. They were never bloody here in the first place. He hasn't mentioned City all morning. He's mentioned nothing. He sighed quite a bit and his eyes went quite moist as we passed that sports shop. And his nose <laughs> keeps running. Winston! <laughs> Poor Winston. Poor slob. I think I hate him. Hello. Uh, Manchester City Football Club. May I speak to Mr. Joseph Mercer, please? Is this absolutely necessary, Petty? Absolutely, sir. He's undermining the morale of every man in the depot. Our entire productivity is in jeopardy. Look, because one bin man's behaving like... Mr. Mercer's not available. Uh, say it's a Matt Busby. It's a Matt Busby? <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> You're through. Mr. Mercer? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Uh, and the lady wife, Jean. Uh, Mr. Mercer, I have a confession to make, Mr. Mercer. No, I know I don't sound like Sir Matt Busby. That's because I'm not Mr. Mercer. That's the confession I wanted to make, Mr. Mercer. No, the reason I phoned was... I, I've got a mucker called Winston who's a, a city supporter. Well, he's more of a hooligan, really. <laughs> he said I should apply for cup tie tickets in the usual way and rang off. <laughs> Winston, don't shout at him. It reminds him of the crowd at the match. <laughs> Winston. Winston. I've heard all about your tragic news. Yes, sir. But life must go on. Yes, sir. And work. Yes, sir. Yours, mine, number three gangs, everybody's. Yes, sir. I could, on the other hand, give you the sack. Yes, sir. But I understand that in happier circumstances, you're the hardest worker in the depot. Second hardest, sir. Pardon? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Cigarette. Uh. <laughs> well, don't you want it then? Yes, sir. Ta. Uh. <laughs> Winston, you must turn your mind to other things. Yes, sir. Other interests. Yes, sir. Well, will you? Yes, sir. And forget all about city and football. And Colin Bell. Yes, sir. Good. Now you're on the road to recovery. Sir. Yes, Winston. You remember you once sang Abide With Me to me? Will you sing it again, please? <laughs> no. It made me very happy. Fast falls the even time. 
Nein, da ist die Uns. Nein, da ist die Uns. Lord, with me abide. When will I help us? butter and sugar, you'll feel the benefit. Shall I put the telly on for you? Yes, please. Or shall I not bother? No, thanks. It's warmer tonight, isn't it? Yes. I might just undo the buttons of my blouse a minute. Yes. With it being warmer? I'd better not, though, in case it tempts you beyond the bounds of reason. No, all right. <laughs> Look, you don't have to agree with everything I say, you know. No, love. But you are doing. Yes, yes love. love. In a world of your own. If I said the moon was made of green meringue pie, you'd say yes. If I said my mother was one of the Bee Gees, you'd say yes. If I said anything, you'd say yes. <laughs> Winston, will you marry me? Yes. Did you hear what I said? Yes. So did I, Tiger, so did I. Wait while I tell me, man. We are the champions. We are champions. Oh, he's, he's even worse today, then. He keeps calling me mother. When I was torpedoed on a Russian convoy in 1941, I was marooned on this raft with six airy stalkers. One of them kept calling me mother. Two days later, he hit me on the head with an anchor. Right, what? Police constable Basil Nesbitt. Do you want some Fino Barbiton? <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, police headquarters. Yeah. May I speak to PC Nesbitt, please? Yeah, he's probably tinkering with the radar in his patrol car. He steals components from, from it for his automatic lawnmower. Very nice. He should be chief constable by Christmas. He's my next door neighbour. Big chap, about 15 stone. Wife knocks hell out of him. Oh, hello, Basil. Yeah, Mr. Sinclair here. Yeah, oh, Basil. It appears that a member of my staff has committed a minor misdemeanour. Yeah. Winston Platt. Uh, no, Basil. He hasn't done anything on a double yellow line. No, it was at a football match the other evening when he inadvertently... What? Oh. What? It's already down on the charge sheet. Too late to get him off. Uh, Basil, uh, when's his case due to be heard? Oh. Thank you. Nothing we can do. The full weight of British justice cannot be averted. The Crown versus Winston Platt, 10.30 a.m., October the 14th. October the 14th, Jennifer. Yeah, me getting married. <laughs> and to Winston, you great banana. Oh, no, no, you haven't met him yet, have you? Oh, he's quite nice. Anyway, I'll send you an invitation. Look, will you ring Sandra up and tell her? Two weeks from now, Nobly Knees and Amy will be married. Yeah. Yeah, it is a bit quick, isn't it? No, I'm not, you cheeky article. <laughs> anyway, I've got a few thousand more people to invite, so try. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. la, la, la. <laughs> Breaking his neck. Eric! He's an egg. He's 
breaking my bloody heart. Look here, pimple chops, I've just had a phone call. Oh, yes? Inviting me to a wedding. Very nice. Inviting us all to a wedding. Well, congratulations. Your bloody wedding. Bloody hell. Did you? Oh, listen here, <laughs> I don't mind you driving me ball. I don't mind you driving the lads balls. I do. I don't mind you driving Joe bloody Mercer balls. But Naomi's got a lovely head of her. Most of it's a wig. Look, you can't just marry somebody because you've got nothing to do on Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Getting married on October the 14th? No. I don't bloody care. Winston, look, the question you must ask yourself is, will you make Naomi happy? Or is she simply what the textbooks term an Arnold Bell substitute? Colin Bell. <laughs> Colin Bell substitute. Winston. If you're trying to reason with him, uh, may I suggest something? Anything. Give him a rabbit punch and then when he's writhing in agony, grind your boot round his tonsils. <laughs> he's a football fan. He's incapable of bloody reason. Uh, Winston, I want to appeal to your finer feelings. Human beings have finer feelings. He's a bloody football fan. I'm a dustbin fella. All week I'm up to me eyeballs in muck and sludge. I will be all my life. And I still won't turn as much as PJ Proby does in one night. Fair enough. I'm a lousy bloody singer. That's why I don't sing. I'm a lousy everything. That's why I don't do nothing. And somebody sails around the world, you notice it's never me. It's Frank Pig in Chichester. There's a lot of stuff like that I never do. The 400 metres hurdles in the Olympics. Swanning off round the moon. Winning the Monte Carlo rally. Spying on the Russians. Climbing bloody Everest. I'm never going to be the best in the world at nothing. Not even emptying dustbins. But my team are. The best team in history. Begin champions, my team. And when Neil Young puts a long ball through to Lee on the wing and he crosses it to Colin and it's lying there in the back of the net, well, then I sing. By hell, I sing. And it might only sound like a load of swearing and yelling to you, but it's the most beautiful song there is. And then comes another week of muck and sludge. And I don't care. Winston, you can't get married on the rebound. Especially on the rebound from a football team. <laughs> Your inspector's trying to help you. Say something. Mr. Sinclair? Yes, Winston. Get stuffed. <laughs> He's gone up to three lads kicking a tin can around. He's going to join in. He's kicking it. He's regained an interest in living. As far as I'm concerned, he can marry Madame Chayang Kai Shek. As far as I'm concerned, he can marry you. <laughs> I didn't mean it. They'd never pass off as a blushing bride. Science isn't that wonderful. <laughs> I might pass off as a football fan. What the hell for? To get this depot out of the refuse. It's open. Try turning the bloody angle. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. We, we don't work Saturday morning. Magistrate's court does, especially this morning, October the 14th. I know. I have to be there at half past ten. Not now. Hey. You owe me ten pounds. Hey. Through the good offices of my next door neighbour, uh, PC Nesbitt, your case was brought forward to 9.30. Hey. You do have an incredible command of the English language. <laughs> at 9.35 precisely, 
Winston Platt was fined £10 for striking the Newcastle United goalkeeper with a cold Cornish pasty. <laughs> Fruttering 73 obscene expletives in the ear of a lady supporter from Altrincham, who subsequently had to receive attention at the trainer's bench, and for propelling three double-textured rose-pink toilet rolls at a Football Association referee with intent to maim. Winston Platt was also banned for one season from City Football Club. Let me in just once more. I could climb up the floodlights, then jump off and kill myself. I said, Winston Platt was banned. Not you. I am Winston bloody Platt. I told them I was. So, whenever they see me approaching their turnstiles, they won't let me in. And since I've never been near their turnstiles, don't intend to go near their turnstiles and don't even know where their turnstiles are, that suits me admirably. And... I can go and, and, and watch them every Saturday, for better or worse, without fear, without stealth, as long as Arnold Bell shall live. Amen. Colin. Oh, I'm sorry, Colin. I'll work, Mr. Sinclair. I'll work. I'll work myself my guard. You won't see them dustbins for dust. Oh, that's the most beautiful sentence I ever heard. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. Thank you. <laughs> You're a bloody prince among men. Thank you. I'd just like to say thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> There's just now the uh, the question of the ten pounds. Oh yeah, don't let me forget that, will you? I won't. Uh, can I have my ten pounds back, please? Uh, well, I'll have to pay you next payday. Only I need what money I've got for this afternoon. Oh yes, of course, for the wedding. What wedding? Your wedding. Whose wedding? Oh, no. <laughs> Married dress like that, I think it's grounds for divorce. Married? I'm going to the match with Clobber in Everton this afternoon, 17 nil at least. Winston, I thought we were getting wet. No, not on the afternoon of the Everton match. No. <laughs> I'm mean, reasonable. It's only once a year. You can get wet any time. You can come to the match with me. Look behind the goals. I wanted to get married. You'll you'll see Colin. And, and you can bother me rattle every time we score. It's all right, love, you rattle it. I'll just watch. <laughs> it's bloody grotesque. No, it isn't. It's true love. <laughs> what should we do now? Three gorgeous hunks of men and two L plus defenceless girls. Hey, do you fancy coming back to our house and having half an hour with me, Jimmy Hendrix experience? <laughs> no, it's our love, we're teetotal. Fancy a pint? Me as well. No point in going home, the telly's broke. Cheese, Ned. You're twisting my arm. <laughs> 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 Men. Sex mad. 